I'm learning as I go on this YouTube internet business stuff. I'm a total dummy on this. I'm just, you know, I'm just ignorant. And, and before, before I just got to say, time. let me just let me just interject here. He's a dummy. He's not giving himself very much credit because this dummy has got over a hundred thousand subscribers right now. So I've fallen ass backwards into it. <laughs> but, Sorry, uh, I, I I interjected there. Well, I, I like it, man. Build me up all you want to. You make me sound better than I am. I like it. <laughs> but uh, no, going into 2020, I had never properly monetized my channel. I, you know, when you upload a video to YouTube for your audience who don't know how the process works, when you upload a video, you click a monetization button that you want monetization on. And there's three options. There's beginning, mid roll and end. And so those are the commercials that pop up in the YouTube videos. You see them before a video plays. Then you have the really annoying ones. And right when you're in the best part of a video, it pops up and you got to wait five seconds and you have them at the end. I hate those mid-roll advertisements. I hate them with a passion. Nobody likes them. So I'd never turned them on. I just, I, I think that it would be good for my channel. I thought people see that, they click off the video, they don't subscribe. I thought it would hurt my growth. So I'd never turned them on before. And so, you know, we get into the pandemic, businesses were shutting down, everything was on lockdown and advertising revenue kind of dried up there on YouTube, you know? And I was at a point where I had had my best month of views ever. I'd gotten like 800,000 views for a particular month, which had blown away my previous best month. So I'm thinking, here we go, buddy, payday. I'm about to cash a big check. And I get the check and it was like half of my previous best month. And at that point I was so frustrated because it's like, you know, working full time, you got all the pandemic stress and I'm spending all this time putting out content my channel's growing, but with that, you, you get all the negativity, you get all the hate that comes with it too. You've got the time constraints of, of just how much time it's taking up. And I'm like, why am I doing this? You know, I'm not making any money. I'm dealing with all the hate. I'm not really, I wasn't really having fun at that particular time. I don't care about the attention. I don't, I'm not looking to be famous or anything. I really don't like the attention I get. So it's like, what am I doing this for? Maybe, maybe it's time to wrap it up. And so I kind of made the decision that that was going to be it. But again, I was a few videos ahead. And so I decided I'm going to turn on those mid-roll advertisements because it really don't matter at this point if people don't subscribe or, you know, people are offended because I'm not going to be putting out more content anyway. So let me just turn that on. I'll make some money with my old library of videos, yada, yada, yada. When I did that, holy cow, the money started going up every day. And I'm not talking about tens of dollars. I'm talking about hundreds of dollars every day from those mid-roll advertisements. I had no idea how much those were worth. I mean, I was completely naive to it. And Are when you? I did that, I don't know if it was maybe like just because we we're in the pandemic, more people were doing stuff outside, fishing channels kind of got a push or if because maybe I properly monetized my channel finally, YouTube kind of give me an extra push and started pushing my videos out a little more. Because I mean, let's be real, they make money because of the advertisements they're able to place in videos. So it's in their best interest to push videos that are monetized to the fullest. Did if you I got a 30 did, minute video. Were, and, you, and were you not monetizing at all? I had, I had at commercials at the beginning and the end. Okay, but um, not in the middle. Interesting. And that's where your money makers at. That is those mid-roll advertisements. That's where, I mean, when I did that, my views were the consistent, about the same, but my money just tripled instantly the next month, all because of those mid-roll advertisements. That and is so fascinating. That point, I was, maybe I need to ride this out a little while longer. Let me just stick with this because now, you know, everybody's got a price, as the million-dollar man Ted DiBiase used to say. This suddenly became a lot more fun when I was starting to get paid enough to not deal with the negativity or, you know, make it worthwhile to justify the time that was going into it. So that's when I kind of really started hitting it hard. I was like, okay, let's start treating this more like a job yep. now, yep. really putting effort into it and see where it can go. And no, so, that's I think, you know, the other thing, too, is I think that you're right uh, in the wheelhouse of, you know, in, in the in the fishing um in the internet fishing world, catfishing is, I, I'm noticing it's its super popular, you know, and I don't know if it's as, it's not as saturated as, as the bass market. I've heard people talk about, well, there's a billion bass fishing videos. So if you do a bass fishing video, you know, you're going to get lost. You're going to get lost in the, you know, because there's, a, there's so many bass fishing videos. 
Whereas in catfishing, there's not as many uh, catfish videos, and but there's still a big audience for catfish. So um, there's I, a lot I, of channels, but there's very few who are putting out consistent content like we've talked about. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and, and then and then I key. think. And, and then I think also, you know, you couple that, tell me if, if you agree, but you couple that with the popularity of, of kayak uh, fishing, you know, and you got a, you got a real um, good formula there to do well, especially if, you know, you're good on camera, you're educational. I mean, I, I don't know. The proof is in the pudding in your situation. I mean, just look at your growth. I'm excited that you've uh you've you've learned that it's a great tip just for anybody out there that's that's learning youtube or maybe struggling with their youtube channel like me <laughs> um that those mid you know i don't even know I, honestly i've um i've monetized our channel but it's it's um i don't know if i'm actually i got a thing in the mail from google they said you need to there's like a little password in there that then would allow me to properly monetize the channel or something it's still on my dresser in my bedroom uh but i, I no, suppose i should <laughs> <No. laughs> listen august um i'm uh, you know this is august is going to be a great month that i have i have great great hopes for this this uh this this august 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 2020 what is this month i can't even remember what year this is anymore this pan you're behind all the time you're yeah. still living in the past man yeah so <laughs> I, yeah, so uh, that's that's really interesting. I've not heard that before. So monetize in the middle. Make sure you got yep. those those ads in the in the uh, the middle of your videos. So there you now heard it. People are going to push back. You're going to get a lot of comments, too many ads, whatnot. And I don't have any control over that. YouTube puts them wherever they're going to put them. But you know, I, and I'll fire back at people sometimes. I'm like, look, I spend hours of my time putting these videos together. I inconvenience myself out on the water. I take every good fishing spot I have, I burn it to the ground because people locals, they can see my background, know exactly where I'm at. If I'm gonna do all that, your sorry ass can sit through a minute's worth of commercials in a 15 to 30 minute video. I mean, if you were watching Bill Dance back in the day, a 30 minute episode, you're gonna have what, eight minutes of commercials throughout the show, plus his whole show is, you know, kind of an advertisement like you touched on with the TV fishing shows. So I don't show no mercy on these people. I don't, I, and plus too, if, if you don't, if you don't like advertisements, spend $13 a month on YouTube. You'll never see a commercial again. You can buy YouTube premium. So that's my thoughts on it. Thanks for tuning into the podcast. If you've enjoyed our content, please consider subscribing to another fishing podcast on iTunes, which is available also on just about every major podcasting platform. We'd love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Angling Uploaded. And for exclusive benefits, become a member on Patreon. So go to patreon.com and search Angling Uploaded. Become a member. Oh, God, we love you if you do that. Thanks, guys.